Hello everyone, this is Dynamation4, and we are here to do a speed spotlight on a relatively new mod that adds a few extra utilities to the game. And what this mod is called is Extra Utils. It was released by RW Tema back in April of this year, so it's, it is relatively new. And its, call, its description is just a bunch of useful stuff. And that's what it is. Uh, so many item frames I'm lagging, but we're going to start with just the random items for this first part, and the second part is going to be specifics. You got the golden bag of holding, double chest worth of portable storage. You got the golden lasso, um, simple recipe, uh, holds passive mobs, keyword passive, and holds their data and everything for release later. Um, you got the paintbrush, which is used in painting colored bricks of any color with a die in the middle and any kind of stone bricks on the outside just for decorative purposes. You can also do the same thing with planks, get some colored planks. Here you got blackout curtains. This recipe actually gives you six, it gives you 12. Um, it makes everything completely dark on the spot and blocks light. So if you to put this here, there, everything in here would be black. At the watering can, which if you were to grab, actually there's some till dirt here, if you were to fill it up with some water, and you can wet the soil nice and fast. Um, there's this really cool block that pretty, most people know about if you play FTB quite a bit. It's the angel block. You can place it anywhere you want, and it destroys, even if you're not in creative, with a single click, a single left click, and it goes right into your inventory afterwards. Yeah, it's the most probably the most popular block added by this mod. Um, really, really simple recipe for what it does. Iron spikes damage anything on it. This gives you four, but it's still quite a bit of iron placed in any direction, and just does damage. Um, There's a music block, and you can get the sound muffler which makes things quieter, it doesn't mute them, be pretty good for your nether portals. Um, you get the trash cam, destroys any items you put inside of it with no return at all, so be careful. You got the peaceful table, which if you're only in peaceful mode, put a ch sword in, the ch in a chest next to it, and this, it'll spawn mobs on it and kill it with the sword using the sword exactly, taking durability, and only works in peaceful. And if you get a jukebox and an emerald block, you can get a trading post, which trades with nearby villagers, it has quite a bit of range, you can access it from over there. It compiles all the trades together, so you can trade with specifics. You get the endothermic pump, which let's go into the nether and take a look at. This pump acts just like a regular pump and only in the nether. The only major difference is this pump has to be at the lava level, but it doesn't have to be above lava. There can be blocks below it. And it replaces the lava with stone and doesn't use much energy at all. Like it uses energy really slowly and pulls out the lava like a pump would. Only works in the nether. Next you got the conveyor belt. It's like the, the conveyor belt from the other mod. Um, this one. Except it acts as the entire block, has an arrow of direction, but no animation to lower the lag. See, it even moves the particles. Um, moves um, items, can move uphill, moves entities, but can't move uphill entities. And it's easier to walk against than the other ones. Chandeliers can be hung. Um, and they prevent mob spawning within a 16 block radius. The magnum torch. Prevents mobs spawning within a 64 block radius and acts like a torch. This is a potion of healing 2, potion of regeneration 2. Block update detector detects blocks up block updates like that. And the redstone clock constantly emits pulses of signals. Without any, both of these are without much. This one's without any kind of display this one has a redstone display so I did it this part of the mod spotlight was under five minutes it was four minutes 24 seconds um, it is 
really a two-part mod. There were the random blocks that have their own unique purposes, and there's the blocks that the two groups of blocks that all work together in some way and act as like sections on their own. And that'll be in the next video. But yeah, really, really cool mod. Uh, fairly new, and it it's designed so that it doesn't create a lot of lag in your world. <laughs> That's so cool. So, yeah, do with this what you wish. And um, once the second video comes out, there will be a link in the description and right here. Right here. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.